Right, so uh, you you live down in San Diego, is that right? Yeah. B born and raised? Yeah, I mean since I was seven, so close enough. It's a great, great, great town. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, after traveling the world, I actually know for sure that it's paradise. <laughs> you can you can now appreciate it more. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you have a new record coming out? Yeah, September 25th. So this whole tour is kind of building up to uh, you know the anticipation of that. And uh, I saw you guys play tonight. You guys really really know how to command the audience. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's easy when the audience is good, good like the audience today. And it's, it's ironic going away. I guess I've seen you guys headline the uh, Sounds of the Underground tour here, headlining it. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, there was only one stage on the Sounds of the Underground, so it was a very similar atmosphere to the side stage today, but, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to reach some of those new fans whenever we're headlining. That's the purpose of doing Mayhem. For sure, for sure. Now, is your, your new album as... Uh, is it has a name or is it going to be self-titled? Uh, no, it's going to be called Awakened and it comes out September 25th. Okay. And is it, uh, is it all new songs or do you have some old songs that didn't make the last album? No, this is, uh, you know, we, our last album was more like, we had, a, we had a compilation type release come out about a year ago. And so this, this next album is a full length of all, all new songs, 11 new songs. And, uh, you know, I think it's, it's our best work. Everybody says that about their new CD, but, I, you know, we, we genuinely believe it's our best work. We fine-tuned what, what it is that we do and, and uh, you know, I just think... We've, we've matured in a, in a way where we're better songwriters than we've been in the past. Now, uh, do you guys write together, or is it you know, a, skeleton, a skeleton here and a skeleton there, and then uh, coming together from that? Yeah, it starts out by just uh, emailing each other. We don't even, like, see each other in person. You know, we get home from so many months of touring. It's like the last thing we want to do is, you know, hang out in each other's, you know, spare bedrooms writing music. So we'll write all of our own ideas, email them around, and once something's starting to stick, then we'll actually get together and... and finish the idea as a band. And do you guys rehearse specifically for a tour, uh, or do, do you guys, you guys been long, getting together long enough that you can uh, just swing it? Yeah, we just go for it. I mean, before this tour, we practiced one song, <laughs> but we didn't practice the rest of the set because there are songs we played so many times, so we just had one new song we were playing, and we rehearsed it three times, and said, all right, you know, I think, you know, there's nothing that really gives you the experience of being live on stage, you know, like you can be perfect in the practice room and that's that's the point we get to and then we say well now that once we're moving around on stage you know that's how we're really going to find out if we know it do you think you know all the songs in your uh in your catalog yeah you know i've had a, a night here or there where you know something in the crowd distracts me and i forget a line of lyrics or something but yeah i, I uh you know I've, I've only maybe done that a handful of times oh well everybody has heard that randy randy Blythe is in jail in uh in czechoslovakia and uh, have you, uh, you guys uh, w invite people up to the stage much when you play? Yeah, I mean, we've had similar experiences, you know. Um, it's pretty absurd, you know, what's happening. But I, I also have heard that he actually got let out. So, um, you know, who knows, who knows which information is the right information. Now, either way, it's great publicity for Lamb of God. And if, if I had to be in prison for a couple days, as long as, or jail, I guess, not prison, but jail for a couple days, if it meant, you know, Equally as great promotion for our band, why not? <laughs> yeah, he's probably making more money in jail than he is out. Is that uh, possibly, right? Well, you know, bands go on tour for months and months and months to get, uh, to promote something that's going on, you know, and, and for sit in jail for a few days and get that kind of promotion, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not ideal, but it could be worth it. Could be worth it. Could be worth it for sure. Now, uh, you're, as I lay dying, is that a reference to Jesus at all? N no, it's not, but, uh, it's, it's actually, uh, I've never had that question before, but I mean, I guess it could be now that I think about it, but it's not, yeah. Do you think that uh, God loves and takes care of all of us equally and that we can't really get anything extra? I know some people say, well, pray for this and God will give it to you or yeah. pray extra. But do you think God gives us everything that we need uh, or we can... And, and obviously everything is theoretical, but yeah. how, what do you think about that? I think change everything you have in your power to change, and if uh, you spend everything you can and you're, you're exhausted of your own resources, then you have no other option but then pray. So, you know, I think a lot of people um, view 
spirituality as like some magic genie kind of thing and other people view it as like a psychology that helps them through and you know they want to uh, get past the idea that somebody in their family died you know or whatever but I, I think realistically you know for a human being to to do everything in their power to change their circumstances is the place that every human being needs to start because we're all whether you, you say it's all happened by natural causes or given to us by God we're all given clear physical and mental abilities like why not use them